Today, I am happy to announce we have a real option to do perspective in Canva. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to do it. So the way we're going to create perspective is through a new app called, we're going to go in here and put in transform image. And you'll see this right here. And what you want to do is click on that. Now, here's the catch to it. You have to use a file. You can't put a you can't put an element in here and do it. You can't do a pic, put a picture in here. So if I go over to my elements and pick out a photo, let's see, let's grab a photo, this photo here, and then I go back into my apps, put this on here, it won't let you do it. You have to download what you need to do. You want perspective on. So we're going to delete that. I have some files I already made to test with. So let's go grab the first one. So I'm going to go down to test number one, open that up. So here is my wall. So what I can do is I'm going to go here. You can turn it, turn it, go backwards, turn it till it disappears. There's also a zoom if you want to go in, but let's see if I add that to the design, what happens is you're only getting that part of the picture. So if, you, if you're going to do it that way, that's fine. You can also add shadows to this. So if you want a shadow, you can add a drop shadow afterwards. You can also use easy reflections on this. I've already tested that out. And so, but be careful when you have a big one because you want to go. So you can go out like this and get a hard perspective. But when you add it to the design, it's going to look like that. So that's a little bit of a hiccup, but if you're doing like a soft perspective, it's it's going to be good. If you're trying to do a long stretch, maybe there's a different way to do that. So, and you can al always reset and then try again to the other side. Now, I use this size format, so it's kind of big. So if you do a smaller format, it might not be as bad. So let's go and choose another image. So I got, let's see what I got for test number two. So I got this one. So oh, what we can do is go. That way, I'm going to take the zoom out so the whole picture is in there. But see when I try to get the whole picture in there, it gets a little crazy. There we go. We got it lined up back again. And then I can add that to the design. And there we go. I have that whole image in there and the perspective. And of course you can flip it the other way. You can flip it this way. We can add that to the design and see it that way. It kind of looks like a bath mat, doesn't it y'all? Woo woo. All right. So let's see what I got for three. I did some different kinds of designs, So we're going to try a different one. Let's see what I got for this one. All right. So this one's like a word, like I was trying to think of Star Wars. Um, so what I did when I downloaded this, because I used the pro is I removed the background. So it's only this square right here, this rectangle. So what I wanted to do is see uh, what it looks like if it's going this way. So I got this one and I can add that to the design and it kind of almost looks like the star Wars thing. So if you want to do that kind of text like that, I also did the road because let's see, I did a road doing the same thing down the road. Let's see if I can zoom in. Let's go. It gets a little wonky there. Try to make it straight though. Add that to design down the road. Now I did this with a transparent background, but I didn't use a road that was in Canva because the roads of Canva Usually if you go up there already are in a kind of perspective view for the road. So I used a square and a dotted line to make this one. And I didn't dot my line for, far enough down. And when I downloaded I downloaded it with a transparent background. But I kind of wish that you could take this and stretch the top further. So like if I wanted that, like I really wanted to stretch that out and make it thinner. There was a way to make it thinner. And if there is, and y'all... Let's see, perspective, you can use your scroll wheel. Okay, let's see what the scroll wheel does. Pinch and the slider below. So 
I guess pinch would be if you're on a iPad. I don't know what pinch would be, but we can make that bigger, we can make it smaller. And all your scroll wheel is doing is like your zoom would do. So you can do these weird kind of things and add to design any way you want to. And let's see one more. Let's see what else we had in here. What was three? All oh, my cards. So I did the card backwards like this too. I thought that was kind of cool. And add that to design like that. And then I did two on their sides. Like that. Add to design. And you kind of do that and then try to get it the other way. So the one thing I like about easy reflections and stuff like that. So if you're trying to do like some of the other apps, if you're trying to do like I want one on this side, one on this side, and I want them to look the same. Having the thing with the numbers here uh, for your angles and like that would be like a this would be like a negative five and this would be a positive five. And then you could get the exact angle each time because otherwise I think it would be very hard to try to do that. Oh my gosh, y'all, I almost forgot one more thing I want to show y'all. Uh, let's choose the file. I have one that is text. So what I did with the text is I removed the background from the text. So if you want to do the perspective on the text, ooh, let's zoom it in a little bit more, make it bigger because I made that small. And then we can do a text also and add that to the design. So you're going to create it, your text on a page. You're going to, you're going to have to remove uh, the background when you download or take it somewhere and remove the background and then bring it back in like so. And then you can take it and flip it the other way. Add to design. We can go the other way. We can, let's reset this. And then we can go down like this. Let's see if we can zoom it in a little bit and make it bigger add to the design and then we can do that kind of stuff with our text um, if you want to get real crazy you can make it almost flat oops oops it doesn't have a good control on it oh 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 it's like an airplane okay but uh yeah let me get a little bit smaller so it fits all the way in and add to the design so how you're going to do text you're going to put it on a background um, go to remove BG if you're in the free one and remove the background and bring it back into Canva and just go ahead and then you can play with it this way. And as you can see, this is background removed. We'll go and change the color in the back to a black. Let's see if you can see it. Ooh, that makes it poppy. And yeah, so, and that's what you can do with that. I almost forgot all about it. And so hopefully they'll make some more adjustments so we can kind of, if we need to, say I wanted to take this and stretch it further this way to give it more perspective. Maybe it'll let me do that. Um, at this moment, I don't see an option to really do that. And if y'all do find one, please leave it in the comments. And that way I can pin it and people can read it. And we can maybe uh, learn some more about this app. It's brand new. Just saw it today, so of course I had to play, and then I got to tell you. So that's all for this one. You know I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.